Welcome to another tutorial on Looker Studio. Today we will create uh, a dashboard using the responsive layout in the Looker Studio. The responsive layout was recently introduced by Google and in this layout the dashboard adapts to the screen size. So if we change the screen size for example now the screen size has been changed and as you can see as the screen size changes so does the layout of the dashboard so it adopts to the changing screen size automatically so this was the uh, uh, new layout which was introduced by google and using this layout you can create responsive dashboards which adopt to various screen sizes and devices such as mobiles tablets and computers so you don't have to create a separate dashboard or report for different device so let's go to the looker studio and create our responsive report so we can create a new looker report by either clicking here or using the create button and the create button allows us to create data source separately before creating the report itself you can also create data source while creating the new report so let's click here and this will create a new report and also ask for the data source so our data source is a csv file so let's look for a csv connector and this is a csv file upload connector by google let's click on this one and now we can upload a csv file let's select our csv file and click on the open button and this will upload the csv file and also create a new data set once the processing is complete we can add this data set to our report and we can use this csv to create our dashboards so let's click on the add button click on the add to report and now this data set has been added to our report and we can use these fields to create our dashboard and now we have to choose the layout for our dashboard and the freeform layout is the uh, older layout and the responsive layout was introduced recently by google and this one adopts to various screen sizes such as mobile devices and the tablets so this is recommended to be used unless for a specific reason you want to use the freeform layout and by using the responsive layout you don't have to create a separate dashboard for your mobile devices or your tablets because it will adopt to all devices automatically so let's start with the responsive layout and this is the form which we are going to use to create our dashboard it has various sections where some controls have already been placed we do not have a, a date a field therefore we do not have to use this control it is useless for us so let's delete this one here we can add the title of this report and here we can add some charts and controls and we can also add various sections as and when we require them so let's call our report student data analysis So let's add a chart and this is a list of all the charts available to us and we can select any of them to add to this area. Let's add a donut chart and it has automatically selected the dimensions and metrics. So let's change the study R to gender. And now we have a chart showing number of students by gender. So let's change to number of students 
by gender so this chart shows number of students by gender we can change this sequence to ascending and we can also change the position of legend let's make it now it looks much better now let's add a bar chart and let's change the gender to age and let's also change the sequence of this chart by age in the sending order and let's change the record count to number of students so now we have a chart showing number of students by their age so we have the most students at 18 years of age which are 42 students now let's add another chart and this time uh, let's add a pivot table with heat map and grid it has automatically added the gender and age and the record count so now we have the comparison of age and gender and we can also change the sequence to ascending okay we have to change this to age and this to gender now it looks much better and we can also add a title to this pivot table let's call it number of students by age slash gender great now we have three charts in this section and we can also add another section by clicking on this plus sign and let's do that and now we can add more charts here so in this section in these three charts we have analyzed the uh, distribution of students and the number of students by gender or by age so in this section we will analyze the students by their uh, final exam score so let's copy this chart here and simply let's change this record count to final exam score so we have So now we have the analysis of uh, the final exam score by gender and age. So we have uh, used the same chart and just change the metric to final exam score. Now we have to be very careful of using the aggregate function. So we are basically totaling the uh, final exam score here, which will uh, display the wrong results or wrong analysis so we have to change the aggregate function to average
So now we have the average final exam score by age and gender. Now let's add another chart and for our next chart, let's add this bar chart and it has automatically selected the final exam score but instead of gender let's select the parental support and instead of the sum function let's select the average aggregate function so now we have the aggregate uh, average final score by parental support uh, let's like the parental score parental support as sorting and like the ascending order and let's add a title final exam scores by parental score great so one is the lowest and the three is the highest parental support and which reflects the final exam score which is higher so higher parental support means better results in the exams so let's add our final chart which will be a scatter chart so it has automatically added some dimensions and metrics. So let's change this age to, to final exam score. And let's change this metric X to attendance rate. And the matrix Y to uh, study hours. And here we have another and that is because study hours is uh, assumed as a date which it is not so let's edit our data source and change this to a number so let's click on this done button And now we have a chart showing uh, the impact of attendance rate and study hours on the final exam score. So higher the attendance rate and the study hours and the better the final exam score. So giving more time to your studies will eventually result in the better results in exams. Let's change the title to Final Exam Scores by Study Hours Slash Attendance Rate. So our dashboard is almost complete. Let's add a control as well let's add a slider and it has automatically selected the final exam score which we intended to select so let's remove the label we can choose hidden and now it is gone and now we can also change the font size to 40 and make it bold great and now we can choose a theme and let's go to themes and layout and let's uh, select the edge theme and let's make it black and let's make it white white 
and white so much better now uh, and finally we have to check whether these uh, charts filter other charts or not so let's go to the view and so cross filtering is disabled let's go to edit and check this cross filtering for all charts and now let's go to the view and we can now select a chart and filter other charts based on that chart so we can also use this slider to display data of a specific range based on exam score so these are the lowest performers and these are the highest performers and this is a responsive dashboard and let's so now we have a smaller area and the report is automatically adjusting to this size so you can see now it is a it is kind of a mobile layout so this is the responsive layout of google looker studio reports and with this we end our today's tutorial i hope you have enjoyed our video and learned something new see you in the next tutorial have a nice day.